Renegade Rousey, and this is the Left Hook Boxing Show. And I just had to make this video and say that I was a little off in my prediction. In fact, I was way off on my prediction. I had predicted that Marquez would win by decision, and I was way wrong. I graded this fight, I think like most people did, that Mayweather won every single round, and then he got an extra point for the knockdown. Um, so, total shutout for Mayweather, the way I judged it, and just a tremendous effort by him. You know, you, a lot of people may not like him. A lot of people do like him, and I like him. I like, you know, the way he kind of gets things going, and, and he talks a lot, and that makes that makes for a good fight when you have that that talking, just like him and Mosley at the end of the at the end of the fight and jumping in there and going at each other, that makes for good entertaining drama build up for a good fight. And hopefully we'll get to see that Mosley Mayweather fight. But, you know, whether you like him or you don't like him, you cannot deny that this man is a phenomenal boxer. I really thought that if Marquez I thought if Mayweather came in, and I thought Mayweather was going to want to demonstrate that he had the skills that he left with two years ago. So I thought he wasn't going to run around the ring and jab, 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 and come out with a decision. And he didn't. He got in there with Marquez. Not all rounds. He stayed his distance. He just used an uh, array of weapons. But when he got in there close with Marquez, Marquez couldn't hit him in some cases. And when he hit him, Mayweather blocked most of his punches. And then when he was able to connect, he didn't hurt him. You know, Mayweather could walk in there with his hands down. And like the announcers were saying, Marquez is a great counter puncher. And if somebody walks in with their hands down like Mayweather did on occasion, then you would expect that Marquez could connect. But he simply couldn't do it. And that just goes to the speed of Mayweather and his reflexes. He just he can go in there with his hands down and he can he's got great vision to where he sees when a punch is coming and he can either dodge it or or he can deflect it, meaning the punch is coming, and he moves with it like Emmanuel Stewart was alluding to. He he moves with the punch, and it doesn't have that full impact when you nail somebody. And just a tremendous effort. Yeah, he was the bigger man. There's no question about it. It was a mismatch, no question about it. But still, Mayweather didn't even look like he was tested at all in this fight. And... You know, when a fight is over, I like to look at the fighters' faces. You know, like say, who won the fight based on the looks of each fighter's face? And even if you have a blowout, like in this case, you usually see the victor still have some kind of mark on him. He may not have a cut, but usually he has like a reddish face or a little swelling. But Mayweather had none of that. I saw not a blemish on this man. Not one blemish. I was looking for a cut. I was looking for a little blood coming out of the lip. Maybe a little a little scratch, a little blood coming out of the nose. There was none of that. This was just totally unmarked face. And it goes to the skills of Mayweather. He was able to avoid getting hit by a great boxer. And just a tremendous effort by him. You can't take anything away from it. Now, as far as Marquez, I hated to see him done that way. I mean, he's just a great boxer. He gave a good effort. He went in there and fought, and he didn't get knocked out. Now, that shows that, hey, he's got pride, and he gave a good effort. He was up against a better boxer, a faster man, and a bigger man. But he gave a game effort, and, man, hey, you got to give it to him. And he put himself in a position to fight a fighter where he could lose. He was basically three to one odds, I think, to lose. But he went in there and fought a, a great boxer, and he lost. But you got to give him credit there. Um, 
the, the most entertaining part of the fight, I thought, was the after fight interview with Max Kellerman and and Mosley comes in there, and oh man, didn't that start drumming up some stuff, man? I'm just hoping that we see that fight because those two guys, that would be a challenge for Mayweather. Mayweather, I'm telling you, he wasn't even challenged in this fight. And we all know if you're competing in sports, you what brings out the best in a person is when they are challenged. And I think I think Mayweather would win the fight with Mosley, but I believe that Mosley would at least challenge him. And I think we would see a really good fight there and we would see even more out of Mayweather. And I think we'd see a lot out of Mosley. These guys would go at it. There's a little bit of bad blood there, no question. And I think we would see the skill levels brought out even more out of somebody like Mayweather and also Mosley. So I hope we see that fight. I'm a little not, I guess, not wanting to see Pacquiao Mayweather now. I, you know, Pacquiao is a great fighter. But like Emmanuel Stewart was saying, they have weight classes for a reason. If you have a great fighter in a lower weight class, there's occasion when they go up and they'll be able to do well. But when you're going up and fighting a, a, a bigger man like Mayweather, I don't know. I don't know that I want to see that fight. I, I wouldn't want something like what happened to Marquez happened to Pacquiao, where he gets totally uh, outmatched because of the size advantage. But we'll see. But one thing you'll know is that Freddie Roach. If he's involved in whatever negotiations the fight, he will insist that there be a catch weight and it be at a certain real low weight. So I kind of doubt that fight's going to happen because, and if 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 Mayweather pulled the thing where he comes in at 146, I bet you anything, uh, Roach would say, "Hey, we're not fighting the fight. If he comes in at that high of a weight, we ain't fighting it. We're calling it off." And uh, I don't think Mayweather's going to want to go down that low to where uh, he would fight Pacquiao. I think the best fight for him would be Mosley, and I think that would be the fight that would bring out the best in him. And I hope he puts that fight on and his uh, promoters put that fight on. But anyway, just a quick video. I was wrong, way wrong. I give it to you, Mayweather. You're a tremendous boxer. A lot of people don't like you, but hey, whatever they say, you're still a great boxer and uh, great entertainer as well. So I hope we get to see another good fight for him in the future, and I hope it's against Mosley. For now, this Renegade, I'm out.